All right, let's start with the big story that we are tracking this morning on Beyond, where the South Indian state of Kerala continues to remain on edge after unprecedented rains have brought the state to a complete standstill. The thousands of soldiers and also dozens of helicopters have been deployed to rescue people who are marooned by what has been described as the worst flooding in over a century in Kerala. The tens of thousands of people are still stuck on the rooftops and houses and community centers and rescue workers have yet to reach many flooded areas, some which are too narrow even for boats to navigate in. Now, the Indian Air Force has dropped relief packets for the flood-affected victims and also has provided them with basic amenities for their survival as the situation continues to remain pretty grim. Meanwhile, India's meteorological department has also forecast more rains in the coming days. Situations are uh, very bad near the area, Chengandur, especially near the Chengandur, near the hill uh, where it's Chengandur area is situated. Uh, more, the, more of the areas, habitat areas are flooded there. And uh, we are trying to rescue. Initially, we are benching up people. And right now, uh, we are uh, supplying the food and water supply to the people there. And uh, as if you've seen right now, uh, this is difficult because water flow is very uh, fast and uh, it is very difficult for them to go towards that uh, open area and we, so that they can be benched up. So the alternative is to provide food and water to them so that they can at least survive till the water recedes. Now the state's chief minister, Pinarai Vijayan, has put the combined death toll from flooding and landslides since the start of the rainy season at well over 324. At least about 6 lakh people have been evacuated into relief camps. The chief minister of the state has also announced a compensation of 200,000 rupees. That's about 2 lakh rupees to the next of kin of the deceased and about 50,000 rupees to those who are seriously injured. Meanwhile, help is pouring in from across India. Other state governments have also pitched in with their efforts and have sent vital aid in terms of food and other basic necessities to the flood affected areas in Kerala. The volunteers from around the country are packaging food and medical supplies for the flood stricken victims. Now, the Indian Navy has also stepped up its efforts for relief and rescue. Navy's helicopters have loaded relief material from Naval Air Station in Kochi for the flood victims. The Navy has deployed as many as two advanced light helicopters, three Sea King choppers and four Chetak helicopters for relief and rescue missions. And also, according to reports, the Kochi Naval Station will allow for civilian flight operations from Monday after the local airport was inundated due to heavy rains and also shut for flights until at least the 26th of August. All right, so this is what the scene is like across so many of these relief centers that have been established in recent days. We're given to understand that at least about 6 lakh people have been evacuated to safer areas. The big challenge, of course, is in terms of logistics, trying to get that aid material and that relief material to all those people who are presently stranded in areas where connectivity is very, very low. Now, the Med Department has forecast that more rains are expected over the course of the next 48 hours and the state government and also the central government have, of course, announced eight packages for, for the people and these are the visuals that we see of the people who have been marooned in extremely difficult to reach areas being rescued by helicopters. And also our correspondent Nishtita Virendra is presently in Tiruvananthapuram and has sent us this report from a relief camp from there. Apart from consumables, you also have medicines uh, that are being sorted here. A list of medicines have been given out to the people. It is put out uh, 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 outside each and every 
rescue and relief material center uh, right from uh, basic medicines for little children to the aged then you have paracetamols you have cold medicines you have acidity medicines and then you have more uh, uh, pre uh, prescription medicines like bp tablets and diabetes tablets that have all been listed out and you have people coming in uh, all through the day and uh, uh, placing it here in these collection centers where they are organized by these self organized uh, youngsters who have gathered only mobilized by social media there is absolutely no chaos they are very well organized and uh, they have uh, started uh, segregating these material in different boxes each of the boxes have different labels and every time there is a requirement to package it they quickly open it and within a matter of a few seconds uh, 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 packets are made that can be air dropped or that can be sent across uh, to various relief camps in tiruvananthapuram with video journalist chandan nishtha virendra we are